Just last week, President Biden came to give a State of the Union. And in his speech, one of the things he said is, let's make more things in America, except his words ring hollow when he says no to American energy. When people across the country are fed up with just look at today, the highest price for a gallon of gasoline in the history of America is today. Say no to Russian oil, but then say yes to American oil. He can do it with the stroke of a pen. To paraphrase a classic, we appear to be rounding up the usual scapegoats for inflation, supply chain bottlenecks and shortages. Lack of housing supply, lack of competition. There's no mention of the majority's deficit spending. We, we've heard some of these stories before. In fact, in the 1960s and 1970s, there was a lot of uh, there were a lot of allegations that the price pressures that we were observing were the result of, of oligopolistic or monopolistic competition. And empirically, those those claims were were subsequently tested and rejected. Yeah, you know, one of the favorite boogeymen of our friends on the other side of the aisle is the evil price gouging firms. I've seen no serious academic study to that effect, and I would add that most empirical studies and, for that matter, theoretical papers on this suggest that the skyrocketing cost of gas in Idaho and across the nation has been more than a year in the making. Just three years ago, under Republican leadership and prior to this administration's attacks on the oil and gas industry, the United States had become a net oil exporter for the first time since World War II. But just one year into the Biden administration, gas prices rose 40 percent, oil imports increased, and traditional energy producers at home have faced extensive attacks, while foreign countries, many who are not friends with the United States, were encouraged by the administration to produce more.